I'm back for another unboxing, and this time, not only do I have a super cool new bit of bike tech to talk about, but it's also got a pretty slick looking box. But before we crack this open, I need to tell you that we've got five of these new Element Bolt head units to give away. And to find out how to be in with a chance of winning your very own one, well, you're gonna need to stick around to the end of this video. Let's get to it. This is the all new Wahoo Element Bolt head unit, an update on the original bolt, which launched back in 2017. But I do need to just take a second to appreciate the quality of this box. And this is certainly one of the times when you're gonna to need to keep this box tucked away nice and safe in your cupboard. I mean, just listen to this magnetic closure. Oh. That is a good sign of attention to detail and quality. The Bolt has been incredibly popular amongst cyclists, from beginners to amateurs to pros, and some of the best riders and best teams in the world have used the Element Bolt head unit. Teams such as Bora Hansgrohe, De Kernick Quickstep, the GCN team, and riders such as Peter Sagan, Matthew van der Poel, and even Oliver Bridgewood. And at least two of those riders have taken multiple victories when using the Bolt computer. It's popular thanks to its minimalist design, its aerodynamic approach, and its ease of use. So to hear that Wahoo have released an update is pretty exciting. So let's get this thing out of the box and see what we've got. Right. So first up is our unit, the head unit itself, which it's got a pretty cool shape to it. Fairly similar design to what we're familiar with. And inside the box, we've got our integrated aero out the front mount. We've got an additional mount, which we can use to mount onto our stem or onto our handlebars. We've got a nice little USB-C charging cable, a couple of zip ties to go with the mount. And then nicely inside here, we've got our user instructions. Always helpful to have. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the shape and design of this thing, because it follows the ethos of the original Bolt, which was one of the first aerodynamically optimized cycle computers, which saves just under two watts compared to a more traditional shaped head unit. And we can see we have a very similar sleek design with an integrated mount. So they clip together nicely like that. You can see it's only, in fact, a tiny little bit deeper and a little bit longer than the original, yet it weighs almost exactly the same. At a time when bike manufacturers are striving to save a similar amount of watts through their frame designs, this really is a great value for money upgrade. The basic shape is sort of where the similarities end and we can start to see where the real upgrades come in. The most striking upgrade has to be the 2.2 inch 64 color screen, which even better is now actually made with Gorilla Glass. And if you compare this screen to the old one, you can see how much of a difference it is. We've got a far crisper, clearer, and just more precise display. Right then, I've been waiting all weekends to peel this off, oh, finally. This is a really nice addition that gives a super clear display, which is easy to read when you're trying to keep one eye on the road. We all love data, right? I mean, that's one of the main drawers of a high-tech head unit such as this. And the Bolt can display all of your stats in multiple different ways. We can have numerical values to show it, charts, visual representation of our gears. We can even have data overlaid over the top of maps. And best of all, you are in complete control of this when using the companion smartphone app because you can very quickly and easily customize multiple different pages to show as much or as little data as you like. The companion smartphone app is your go-to for when using this device, and it's a super intuitive way to enable you to change all of the different settings of the Wahoo Bolt. But first up, it's gonna enable you to link your head unit to your smartphone. You can just scan the QR code that's on the screen there. It's also then gonna enable you to set up things like auto upload when you finish your ride, and then sync to all of your favorite riding platforms, as well as just getting the Bolt set up exactly how you like. But a lot of these features within the Bolt don't actually require your smartphone to work, but I'll talk about that a bit later on. 
When using the companion app, you can set up multiple different pages on your head unit here to display all sorts of different information. And my go-to would be to set up four different pages that I could flick through when I was riding in different situations. The first page I would set up would be a general ride page. So one like this, which had lots of different information on. And then from there, I could zoom in on as much details and data as I liked, or I could then zoom out and show more information. As well as that general ride page, I then have a dedicated page to my specific efforts. So I'd have data shown such as lap power, lap time, lap average speed, and really dial into those specifics. I then have a map page, which I could use when I was navigating around or just trying to follow a set route, which of course the Wahoo Element Bolt is perfect for. And I would also have a couple of different data fields overlaid over the top of that map. And then finally, something that I would use when I was racing would be the page which showed the gradient and the profile of the route which I was riding on. And this would be great for helping me to try and pace my efforts when racing. As well as setting up all of these different pages, when you zoom all the way out on the element bolt, you've got the option of showing up to nine different data fields. And within using those nine different data fields, you've got hundreds, if not thousands of different options to choose from. So plenty for everyone. Something else that's new with the Element Bolt are the smart navigation features. And these have been implemented thanks to user feedback. One of the first settings is back on track. So if you're following a set route and you deviate off it, for example, the Wahoo will automatically reroute you back onto your original path. That could be that you've just deviated off for a nice little cafe stop, for example. If you're out on the ride and you need to suddenly get back to the start, then you've got the option to route to start. And this is a smart navigation feature that at any given moment will route you directly back to your start point in the quickest, easiest way possible. As I mentioned earlier, lots of these smart navigation features aren't reliant upon you having your smartphone with you, which is great if your phone runs out of battery or you just leave it in a cafe, for example. When using these smart navigation features, the route planning and functionality of it is dealt with using open street maps, which are a super reliable source of global maps used by lots of different services. Now I'm a cyclist through and through, although there was that one time I tried running. But anyway, crucially, what you need to know is that if you're a triathlete, the Bolt is multi-sport enabled, which means as I transition from the swim onto the bike, my rival watch will automatically transfer and sync my data and my workout information across onto my Bolt head unit, so I've got it for the bike leg of my triathlon. And then as I finish the bike leg and transition across onto the run, all of that same data will seamlessly and automatically transfer across onto my rival watch so I've got all the data I could possibly need. As you'd expect, the Bolt seamlessly integrates with all of your favorite ride apps and tools without interruption, allowing you to focus your efforts when you're out on the bike. Something else which is new is the smart notifications feature, which allows you to tailor make the kind of notifications and messages that you can receive from your phone onto your bolt when you're out riding your bike, meaning that you can silence some of those busy WhatsApp groups so you don't hear the race result that you're missing out on watching because you're out riding your own bike. Inside this bad boy, we've got 16 gigabytes of storage space, but what does that actually mean for you and I? Well, it means that we've got worldwide maps stored on this head unit by default. And then in addition to that, we've got enough space to save a route and a workout file for every single day for well over a year. So in simple terms, we don't need to worry about storage space. While we're on the subject of stats and specs, the Wahoo Element Bolt has a 15 hour battery life, which is gonna be great for you and I, particularly for me, because that's gonna last well over 15 bike rides. And in terms of connectivity, you can take your pick between ANT Plus, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I particularly like the Wi-Fi setting because it means when I get home and I press end ride, all my ride data will seamlessly and automatically sync to my favorite ride apps, meaning I'm never gonna forget to upload a ride ever again. The Bolt is able to display structured workouts and guide you through even the most complicated of training sessions with clear and simple instructions and a nice little countdown timer to let you know when your next efforts are coming up, meaning you can focus on your training rather than trying to keep count. And for those of you who love indoor training, you can use this to control your Wahoo Kicker Trainer too. And if you're using a structured workout alongside the Bolt and the Kicker, then they'll work together seamlessly to ensure that you get your efforts just right by controlling the resistance and the simulated gradient on the Kicker. 
For the super keen athletes out there, this can also automatically sync your workouts from training peaks and today's plan so that they're sat there ready for when you are. So it's basically the ultimate training tool. Lastly, on the software side of things, you can now auto share a live track link along with all of your ride metrics and data to a select group of people. And this is something that I've used in the past and someone at home can be sat on their computer and see your location and all of your crucial ride stats, meaning there's absolutely no chance of slacking off from your efforts or sneaking off to the cafe. A nice little change here on the bottom of the unit is this USB-C port, which for the tech savvy out there, we already know what this is here for. But for the rest of us, I can tell you that a USB-C port is sort of the future of connectivity and is used by hundreds of different devices. And by design, it's far more waterproof than the older micro USB port, which we've seen on lots of different devices for. And as well as that, the USB-C port can carry a much higher charge rate, meaning that you can charge your Wahoo Bolt up in far less time. Another neat little update are these convex buttons that run along the bottom here. And these really help with usability compared to the old concave buttons that were a little bit tricky if you had thick gloves or particularly cold hands. Not every upgrade has to be mind blowing, but when you stood there at the side of the road shivering, you'll be glad you've got this type of button design. Last but not least, we've got this nice little ambient light sensor, which is along the side of these LEDs that run along the top here. And what this means is your screen brightness will automatically adjust with the surroundings that you're in. This means that at night, you're not gonna be blinded by a super bright screen. And it means when you're riding in the glorious sunshine, you won't need to squint to be able to see all of your different stats. Hope you enjoyed finding out more about the Element Bolt Head Unit. And now that you know everything that you need to, we've come to the moment that you've all been waiting for. So to be in with a chance of winning your very own head unit, you quite simply need to click on the link in the description down below and then fill out the form. Good luck.